y'all, my channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. They have pots, they have media, they even sell orchids. Use my name, Code Hillbilly, in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. They also do free shipping in the U.S. So go check them out, y'all. Hey, y'all. It is Paulo with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what we got in front of us? <laughs> oh, mercy, y'all. Mercy. Yep, yep, yep. Orchids by the Lake unboxing. Um, I want y'all to, uh, yell out a shout out to Yoshi and hope that he gets better and heals quickly because, um, dear sweet Yoshi, uh, twisted his ankle and he twisted it bad. Um, I feel so bad for him. Um, he had to actually, he said he took off work and, uh, yesterday, but he was, um, back to work today, light duty, so... I was like, ah, you're pushing it. I was like, you know that when you hurt yourself like that, then it winds up being, um, that's something that's always going to bug you. That's going to be a spot that always bugs you. So, something that's always going to flare up and swell up now. And, ugh, so frustrating. Bless his heart. I, I do feel for him. That's rough. I have my feet swell all the time. Like right now, I'm having issues because um, with my autoimmune stuff, I um, I literally, uh, when the weather starts warming up, I, I start swelling up real bad. Like I, it takes me time to adjust to um, the change of the weather and the warmth in it. You know, I wind up really swelling up my hands and my feet. So it's really hard. Um, so, and then especially because if you injure yourself too, that always winds up making it um, swell even worse. So, um, both of these I'm super duper duper excited about, but this one here is really, yay! This one here is really the beauty. Um, I'll see if I can find Maria's post again. This is the... Uh, Brassavola nodosa crossed with the uh, Garianthi skinnery. Uh, this is actually called um, Catleya or no BC Elizabeth. Yep, is what she is now. BC Elizabeth. So, which is a beautiful, beautiful plant. She really is beautiful bloom. Um, Maria is just made all of our mouths water <laughs> and it was so pretty oh that's a really nice plant too really nice really really <clears throat> i thought it looked like it was um probably uh where's my marker put the date on here so i don't forget three twenty five 24. The month is gone, y'all. Month is gone. Month is like um this Sunday is Easter. Easter Sunday. This baby's gonna have to be repotted soon. She is about ready to crawl out the pot. She's got uh, a couple different directions of growth too. So she is one happy, happy plant. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't know where this leaf came from. It's kind of an odd spot for one. But yeah, she's getting ready to crawl right out of the pot. So check that out. Really nice. Really, really nice. I'd say that's a seedling that, yeah, is like underneath of it here. Seedling part of the plant or something that didn't grow any faster than the rest of the plant. So gotta be careful. She wants to fall over because the root's out the bottom of the pot. <clears throat> These guys, I'm sure, will be happy to get a drink. Yay. So, anyways, I will, uh, like I said, I'll put Maria's picture up of her. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one here, this is such a little cutie. Um, I was I was extremely tempted, and then I was like, yeah, yeah, why not? 
This is Amicelia Philippinense. Philippinense. Very nice. Very beautiful. This is a cute little, uh, was mistaken as a um, Angraecum because of its little spurs, and it's not. So, very cute. She is a tiny, tiny little plant. Oh, she was in bloom. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know she was in bloom. Or in bud. Uh, she's not very happy, which they're not when they're shipped. But can you see her little spur? Yep. They do have a little spur. And uh, they were mistaken for and break them. And maybe if I give her a drink, maybe it will help that bloom. Perk back up. They're very, they're very small plant too, which is really nice. It's one of, one of the miniatures that I really like. I do like the minis. They are really, really awesome. Um, I've got so many miniature, miniature plants now. I'm really getting into some of the minis. They are cute. Twenty five, twenty four. I will put up a, um, I'll put up a stock picture, um, so you can see better what she would look like. So cute. Um, let me see if I can, oops. I actually thought my light was on, but I guess it wasn't. Yeah, cutie cutie, cute little spur. But I'll definitely give her a drink and see if we can't, uh, give her the welcome cocktail. Uh, her spur. Bike is kind of bent, so I don't know. But um, some some of y'all had asked me about the welcome cocktail, and um, I have found it just to be tried and true that uh, it definitely works. Um, it is uh, 150 parts per million of cow mag and 50 parts per million of sea kelp. Um, it definitely really gives these guys a an awesome boost, and I let them sit in it for like a couple hours. Um, they, it really, um, like I said, these, these guys have probably never, you know, they come from large nurseries and stuff. Large nurseries do not, uh, care about, you know, giving, uh, hormones or anything like that, that, or, you know, any of the auxins and stuff that come out of the sea kelp. Um, it is really, really a good, um, really something good to give these guys a, a great boost. So these guys will both actually get to sit in that and get a nice welcome cocktail and get started on their road to living here in my grow space. So that is my um, little haul from Orchids by the Lake. And everybody tell Yoshi, wish him, wish him well, give him well wishes and tell him I hope he feels better soon. And with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.